Hey everyone, last week you saw me ripping up this nasty pea smelling carpet. Today I'm working on ripping out every single staple and this tool here works best for that. It's gotta get in there tightly. Actually this one I just cut in half. There we go. It's kind of tedious, time consuming, but eventually they all come out. This along with a hammer works perfect for getting this kind of stuff up. Afterwards I'm going to remove all the baseboards, the duplex receptacle covers, the light switch covers. Since this is already painted, somebody kind of messed that up. Why did they have to paint that? They didn't even do a good job. That should have had at least two or three coats. But you see all these stains from where the People had pictures, some weird stains on the ceiling. Ceiling and walls are just gonna be painted plain white. This subfloor is very nice. I'm not gonna put a floor in. I'm just gonna use some nice oil-based paint. It has a really strong smell. I'm gonna leave the windows on with fans while I'm painting, but after I'm gonna lock this room up and that will take over the smell of the pee. It'll get rid of it. And we're not gonna put another floor in. This is just gonna be painted. And that is a thing. People do paint subfloors and just leave it as is. When it's painted, you won't even really know what it is because I plan on putting an area rug in here so we can make a quick sale of the building. I always write down on the back of it which wall it goes on, so I don't have to test each wall to see where it fits. So this is all I put on masking tape. Always making sure the front of it is a little bit ahead, and the weight of this is holding it snugly against the wall. As far as paint, this is what I'm using for the ceiling. That was 14 bucks. This right here was 30 bucks. This is going to be for the walls. And both of these are one coat coverage guaranteed. And this one doesn't say that, but we're painting white over faded white, so not gonna need a second one. Now this is here, here I'm gonna put on the floor. They didn't have a gallon. Gallons usually 35 bucks. These here are usually 10. I told them that they were out of stock, so I got these four for the price of a gallon. I think I might need more. This is really dry wood, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna soak that up like a sponge. I might have to go and buy four more. But I, hopefully I can get one coat. Start off with half. Don't even think we'll be needing that. All of that, might have to pour some back.
And here's the finished product after a few more days. Not tacky anymore. Very shiny. Baseboards are back in place. The vents are back in place. I'm gonna give it a full month for it to kind of fully cure. The room is not kind of cold. It's like 40 in here. So it's gonna cure a lot slower than it usually would. Put the electrical plates back on. This one's too close to the trim, so I actually have to cut that one so I can get it to fit in there right. The other ones were all dirty and gross. And right in here, floor came out nice in the closet. Oh, I, I didn't put these ones in yet. I'm still waiting on that. And over here, that came out nice also. All right, we're all set in the closet. Looks pretty good. All set under here. The light switch. Cut the plate with a hacksaw, now it fits better. Room looks a lot better than it was. If you saw my first video of ripping up the carpet, there was this nasty beige carpet with dozens of stains. Made the whole room smell like pee. It was just trapped in the carpet. Somebody was letting their dog go in here. I'm out, we're gonna be ripping out this nasty carpet. Right here by the heat register is this one. And the one over here looks like possibly black mold starting to grow. So, go ahead and start. All right, looks pretty good. Is that just dirt on top? Yep. Well, a subfloor can look really nice when it's polished up like this. No floor needed. This is a cheap flooring solution to get rid of a stinky room. Still gotta take down the masking tape. Thanks for watching.